and a glimpse inside the locker room. Players' final few moments. And a quick look at some of the numbers for LeBron James. His assist numbers in the past five games have gone in the wrong direction. He's been out of sync with his teammates, sort of playing on an island instead of as part of a five-man unit. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. They've got Ennis Cantor, Robert Covington out there with Jones. Then it's Damian Lillard, and it's Trent in at the two. And for Los Angeles, Aldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Morris is out there with Mark Gasol, and it's Schroeder in at the point guard position. Greg, in terms of personnel, not exactly the matchups we were expecting to see tonight. You know, Kevin, with all the injuries and, and some guys now having to step into unfamiliar roles, in some ways, that makes tonight all the more intriguing to see which guys are going to step up and deliver. Here's LeBron following the score by Damian Lillard. Goes up again outside for Caldwell Pope. Lakers passing it around. Gasol passes to LeBron. Six to shoot. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. That shot by Caldwell Pope. No good. And here's the fast break. Oh, Covington in position. He can't hit that time. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He's just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You've got to be careful once LeBron breaks the seal of the free throw line. There's a lot of power and a lot of muscle coming at you. Usually it ends up with free throws. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Lillard outside. Jones drives in. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. They get Marcus Gasol. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Both shots good from the strike. Lakers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. LeBron with it. His last outing, he had 18 points. Schroeder outside. Off target from three-point range. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for the Portland Trailblazers, coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, so close in that one, but that's of no solace to the players. Uh, they played their hearts out. So you want to respond in kind, but that last game, it was an effort that most of the time can get you a win. They ran into a tough opponent who was playing at a high level. The Lakers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Interesting to watch LeBron James at the line through the years has tried many different free throw strokes. Not a bad free throw shooter by any means, but always tinkering. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the tent. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Good. Lillard's got six points. Here's Schroeder. An 11-point game for him in the win against Indiana. And we got to talk about his four steals on the night. That's a complete performance at both ends of the floor. No good with the triple. Portland trailing here. And now here comes Jones leading the break. And Jones slams it in. Love the patience from Covington. Uh, lets the situation develop and then delivers a perfect strike. Schroeder right side. Jones against James. It's good. He has seven. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Covington with a steal. On the wing, Jones. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Now here's LeBron. Seven points in the game. 
At the elbow, it's Gasol. Pass to LeBron. The shot misses. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Oh, Covington in position. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. LeBron with it. Now Covington defending. James finds Caldwell Pope. And James throws it down hard. Uh, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim. That time on display. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Hits it from three-point range. Lillard's got nine. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Here's Schroeder, and misses it off the right side of the rim. Oh, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And here's Jones. Over LeBron. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Portland. He finishes with nine. When Damian Lillard's in the flow, there is no stop. I think in the past, anytime I got it. Greg, this is why they say there's no substitute for experience. And I agree. And, and you know, sometimes guys need to learn to be more selfish at times. You also learn, if it ain't broke, keep going with it. Ride the hot hand. And we welcome you back to our special Noche Latina broadcast. As the second quarter getting going right now. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Trailblazers guys, uh, what do you think? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. They yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Harold. Then it's Jones. And it's Horton Tucker in at the two guard. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Out of bounds. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for him. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. With a number of go-to moves and a soft touch, Cantor can crush you inside. Caruso, the pass to Harrell. Now Jones, he's covered by Cantor. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's Harrell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I think first and foremost, leadership. It's so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm. So, you know, the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end, that stuff's important as well. But so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to it, it is really paramount. Six on the shot clock. Caruso, the pass to James. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Here now, the upcoming schedule for the Portland Trailblazers. On Tuesday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the New Orleans Pelicans. And, and looking at the Mavericks matchup, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference. And both teams will need to be at their best. LeBron passes to Harrell. Taken away by Anthony. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. And it's Simons missing. And last year showed that there's still a place in the NBA for a guy like Melo. Mostly a mid-range shooter in the league that has turned away from that. But buckets are buckets, and Melo can still light it up. Harrell finds James. Kuzma kept alive. Goes back up. Can't get the layup. Well, he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. 
Well, Carmelo Anthony was out of the NBA for about a year, calendar-wise. Greg, were you surprised it took him so long to get a look and get back in the NBA? Kevin, I, I wasn't shocked, but absolutely I was surprised. I mean, it was always going to take the right fit for Melo and the right team. And in this case, it was the Blazers. But Melo showed he has legs left in the league and can still be a positive. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Aldwell Pope, he's checked in for Damian Jones. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alex Caruso. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Portland leading by three. Here's Anthony, and he banks in the layup. Anthony's got his first bucket of the night. Anthony's still running the floor well, even at this stage in his career. Gets out and coasts right past the deep. Here's Schroeder. And again, no good by the Lakers. Harold dishes to Schroeder. Kuzma passes to Schroeder. Shot clock at six. And the basket is good. Schroeder's got his third basket of the night. Well, fighting through some defense right there. Schroeder showing some offensive confidence right now. Here's Lillard. Kuzma pulls it in. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. Back to Caldwell Pope. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Well, I mean, they lost their last matchup with this team, and foul trouble really plagued them throughout the game. And they had a few important guys sitting there on the bench at a time when they really could have used them on the floor. They have to play much more in control here tonight. Trailblazers leading by five. And here they go. Here's Jones. LeBron with some nice D. Last game for the Lakers. They picked up the W against the Pacers. And there is a whistle. That'll go on Derek Jones. That is his first foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gasol. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Lillard off target on the 15-footer. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Trailing by five. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Schroeder's got four points now in the quarter. Schroeder playing with some tenacity in this one. He is not letting the defense dictate where it is that he's going. And he's scoring through contact. A really good rebound in traffic. That's what the big fella's there for. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back. The first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even. At the end of the period, they were up by two. And that should... And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Trailblazers, Robert Covington out there with Ennis Cantor. Then it's Jones. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Trent in at the two-guard position. Oh, and he takes it right at the man who just scored on him. That's the way to answer back with an in-your-face stuff. Now here's LeBron. He's got 10. That one's not going to go. Cantor finds Covington. Now here's Lillard. From deep, Cantor trying to free himself up, and Lillard gets it to go. Lillard's got the lead up to six now for Portland. And for the Lakers, they're shooting about 33%, not happy with their play on that end. LeBron outside. And finished off by LeBron. Well, it looks like he's got just one of those good feels tonight. That means trouble for the opponent. Miller against Schroeder. 
Goes up at the stripe, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Lillard's got seven now in this quarter. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. LeBron outside. It's stolen by Jones. And now here comes Jones leading the break. And then Lillard slams it in. He's just such a dynamite scorer. And for 82 games of a regular season, Lillard's in attack mode. LeBron against Jones. James doesn't go for him. Excellent D from Cancer. Portland leading by eight. Jones, no luck. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Simons has checked in. Caruso, the pass to James. Poked away. Here we go, all alone. Here's Simons. Rips down the breakaway slam. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. James kicks to Caruso. Passes it to Morris. Here's Caruso. Back to Morris. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Just five on the clock. Good D by Covington. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Harrell, he's checked in for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. Portland also making some changes. Anthony's checked in for Robert Covington. And Hood subbed in for Jones. Now here's Kuzma. Jones finds Kuzma. Back to Jones. There's the pass to Kuzma. They find Jay on the way. Horton Tucker, that's good. Horton Tucker's got it back down to single digits for Los Angeles. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's Simons, and Jones sends it back. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Damian Jones. The Lakers have gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's Caruso, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Harold down low. Anthony on him. That one's in there. The Trailblazer lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Harrell. Simons surveying the D. Hood the pass to Cantor. Puts it up. In tight, he gets the jumper to fall. Cantor's got six. Yeah, the smaller defender there really not having a chance. That's where a big guy needs to rotate over and help. Caruso kicks to Kuzma. Pass to Harrell. Here's Caruso. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Anthony. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. That free throw good from Anthony. Well, Mello undoubtedly still the leader of this team in terms of when they need to calm it down and they need some offense. He's the guy they're going to look to to score. And Harold slams it in. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Now Lillard, and Damian Lillard throws it down hard. Another reminder that Damian Lillard can be explosive, and we love it. And so it's the Portland Trailblazer holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. You know, Greg, you'd probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the 90s? 
you know, it, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, uh, a defensive-minded team, but the one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think I'd say that might have been the one difference. They've got Kyle Kuzma. Marcus Saul is out there with Harrell. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Horton Tucker in at the two. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Alert again, Schroeder. To the middle. Gasol dishes to Schroeder. And it's good for two. Schroeder's got four this quarter. And they're showing much more focus here in the second half. More effort as well. And their offense starting to show signs of life. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Over in the corner, Lillard. Rocket six. It's up a three. Here's Simon. And that one is hammered home. That's right on the money from Lillard. That's how you finish a possession. Schroeder against Lillard. Goes up on the high post. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Schroeder. Lillard fires away from way outside. Knocked away. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Schroeder gets the front of the rim and out. And Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trail Blazers. Very pretty alley-oop layup. Anthony's got the lead up to 12 now for Portland. Yeah, Hood does a good job there of surveying the floor and being ready to deliver the pass. Schroeder passes to Harold from outside the arc. That doesn't go either for Schroeder. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Robert Covington's checked in for Anthony. And it's Derek Jones in for Hood. Lillard with no one around. Off target with his three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. That one's in there. The Trailblazer lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from LeBron. Lillard outside. Dishes to Cantor. Back to Lillard. Kicks it out to Jones. Portland moving the ball around. Lillard up top. He's guarded by Schroeder. And that's good. Damian Lillard for three. Lillard's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Trailblazers. Schroeder surveying the floor. In the corner, it's James. 141 left in the fourth quarter. Caldwell Pope for three. It's good from long range. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Over in the corner, Lillard. Jacks up a three. The shot will not fall. And the Lakers take it the other way. This is it to Gasol. Schroeder kicks to LeBron. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Trent's checked in. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for Portland. And they're fully in control now, but there were some tense moments, I thought, for them uh, throughout this game. Uh, listen, they certainly weren't coasting, despite what the score looks like. I love the way they came together, though, when everything started to look a little dire and really put the hammer down. And you can mark this one down in the W column. It'll mark their 23rd of the season. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over a conference foe they'd split their previous two games with. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Damian Lillard.
just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Good on the shot. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. Los Angeles with another miss. The three. And Jones pulls it down. And here they come. Here's Caruso. Off the mark. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they did.
Thanks very much. Portland is indeed one of the great cities in the NBA. David, thank you. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. We've got Reggie Jackson. Ivica Zubas is out there with Batum. Then it's Paul George. And it's Leonard in at the small forward. And for Portland, they've got Ennis Cantor. Jones is out there with Robert Covington. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Trent in at the two-guard spot. And we're coming down the back half of the season. Chris, do you have any special things that you did to try to keep your body fresh for the long haul? You know, I tell you what, a lot of sleep, a lot of ice. Uh, uh, the tech was a little more rudimentary then, but uh, we had what we needed to get through. And, and this is an area where Batum can hurt you. This shot is a steady part of his attack. Leonard against Jones. Pass to Cannon. Six to shoot. Lillard up top. Zubats defending. And the rejection by Zubats. To the paint. A nice shot by George. There you see why you want the ball in Jackson's hands as much as possible. He can clearly set the table. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Fires for three. Stolen by Zubats. Leonard looking around. Outside Jackson. Back to Leonard. Over Jones. 
A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Now here's Lillard. 38 points for him last game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. What you love about Lillard is his drive. He wants to keep improving. He's a super competitive player. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throws of the game. The free throw is good from Lillard. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fella. Outside, George. From deep three-point range, the shot, no good. And it's Portland the other way. Last time they came together was in Los Angeles, where they fell to the Clippers. And they'll want to show that they're a much better team than they demonstrated last time out against these guys. At the very least, avoid another blowout. Oh, uh, yeah. Wasn't that a sloppy effort? Uh, I mean, turnovers were a huge issue. Now, they don't have to play safe tonight, but they do have to play smart. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to hog in that one. Stolen by Jackson. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Leonard controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And that's the activity on the offensive glass they like to see out of Kawhi. When he's in full hustle mode, they're a much stronger team. Lillard from outside. He is hauled in by Los Angeles. The deep three from George. A three-pointer is right on target. George has got five points so far. This is the kind of teammate Batum is. You like seeing him share it like this. Here's Lillard, and Damian Lillard with the jam. Taking matters into his own hand. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leadership. There's Jackson with the three. And Cantor pulls it down. Trailblazers trail by three. And Jones slams it in. Oh, I dunk you very much. <laughs> he, can, he can really fly. And you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too. And you've got two points. Now, here is George. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Batum, good. Oh, what balance from the veteran. Even when Batum gets hit, he's skilled at staying in control. Lillard outside. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That'll be his second foul of the game. But two fouls, and we're not even out of the first quarter. That, that's not a good pace to set. Patrick Patterson, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Williams comes in for Reggie Jackson. Now, here's Lillard. He's got six, sinks the triple. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Outside Leonard. Don Patterson kicks to Williams. Shoots over Lillard. No good there. Now Portland takes it the other way, coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, they made some spectacular plays in it right to the very end. Just couldn't get over the hump. Yeah, and sometimes it just comes down to a couple of critical plays which you need to execute in close, ugly games. And I just love the aggressiveness from George, just slicing apart the defense with that terrific ability to penetrate. Lillard from outside, and the Trailblazers, another three. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor, and that's a quality all great scores have. Here's Patterson, and the last second attempt doesn't fall. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. Earlier tonight, we spoke with Paul George about how they've integrated. Everybody has a chip on their shoulder. Everybody wants to win. Um... Greg, that last point is key. This team plays lockdown defense. And that's a big part of their identity. Most teams talk about being well balanced. This team lives it. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And taking a look at the Trail Blazers performance here, boys. Uh, what do you think they're doing or not doing? 
I impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, yeah, this is their preferred pace, and, and it's gotten them out to an early lead. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at Los Angeles, Patrick Patterson is out there with Morris. Then it's Williams. Then it's Luke Kennard. And it's Mann in at the three, the small forward. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Lillard's got the lead up to three now for Portland. Williams inside, covered by Lillard. Patterson can't get it to go. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. Taking matters into his own hand. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leadership. Out left of the wing. Here's Williams. Keeps it alive. Great positioning on the putback. Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a tap. Now here's Lillard. 14 points for him. Over Williams. Top of the key jumper, no good. Clippers trail by three. Inside, Patterson. And it's Patterson finishing it off. And don't sleep on Williams's ability to create for others. That's a veteran play. Lou Williams, so crafty GA, just a knack for putting the ball in the basket. This guy just has the gift. I mean, it's been that way forever. He is just a born scorer. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's Kennard. He had 15 points last outing. Morris passes to Patterson. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Patterson's got his third basket of the night right there. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. Lillard against Williams. And Damian Lillard with the jam. We're seeing the very best of Lillard tonight. I mean, he's a Swiss Army knife of an offensive player. I mean, he's got a tool for every job. Kennard, the pass to Patterson. Kennard kicks to Williams. Here's Mann, covered by Hood. Lillard against Williams, and the shot goes down. Williams has got his first points of the night. For Portland, they've gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Lillard looking around. Pulls up. High post. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Lillard's got six here in this quarter. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight, and it's helped him grab the lead. Williams finds Morris. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Morris. And that's a gift if I've ever seen one. They've got to communicate much better out there. Both teams deciding to change it up. Got a piece of it. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Here's Mann. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Williams. Passes to Kevin Gill. Powered down with both hands. Oh, and he, he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Here's Simons. He's guarded by Williams. Fires from deep. Trent can't hit. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Kevin Gellin. And Jones sends it back. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Mann. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Well, the big reason why they're in front is because they've been able to limit mistakes like that one. 
Clippers have gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Williams. And it's all evened up. Williams has got four points in the quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Trent. Portland again missing. Oh, he found an open space for mid-range. Just maybe rushed his release a little bit. Kennard for three. No good that time. It's all tied in Portland. And a chance to... Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each. Damian Lillard has been having a big night. He had 18 points and one assist. And that should do it. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Really an incredible game from Lillard. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. We've got Robert Covington. He's out there with Derek Jones. Damian Lillard out there with Ennis Kentry. And it's Trent in at the two. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Oh, the quick feet of Covington. He excels at getting out there on the break and finding ways to capitalize. George passes to Batum. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got four rebounds now tonight. Takes the three. That one, no good. The Clippers go the other way with it. Down low. And the jam by Nicholas Batum. Well, that's the athleticism of Batum on full display. Really leaping up and powering the jam down. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Lillard, the pass to Canner. Six on the shot clock. And Damian Lillard with the jam. Well, this is the kind of ball movement they want to get from Cantor. Scan the floor, and when you spot the open man, get it to him. Jackson kicks to George. And George with the stuff. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Lillard outside. And Damian Lillard with the jam. D has got to do a better job clogging up rocks to the rim. Lillard is a terror when it comes to driving the side. George up top. He's got nine. Basket counts. You know, winning that championship as you did, Greg, for UNLV, many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, hmm. It was pretty hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was wired shut wow. for eight weeks. weeks. Didn't miss a game, but I tell you what, I don't know if I would do that today. But, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship. As I recall, you broke it against Fresno State, correct? Yes, yeah. Got my legs taken out uh, from under oh. me and broke the fall with my face. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ouch. Three-pointer Lillard. Batum grabs the miss. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. George passes to Jackson. George against Hood. The shot by George, no good. Trailblazers have gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Portland again missing, and Robert Covington picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Carmelo Anthony, he's checked in for Portland, and Fernie Simons comes in for Damian Lillard. Outside, George. No good there with the step back, Jay. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for Portland. They trail by one. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. Drills it from outside. 
Anthony's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And Anthony is certainly capable of sinking the triple. The D has to respect that quick release and get out on it. And it's George missing. And not his best day from three-point range. He just won in the first half and still looking for his first tier in half number two. Simons surveying the D. Uh, you know, after and here we go with the coach's challenge. Not surprised in a competitive game like this. And he's disputing the personal foul call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. The challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Jackson kicks to Leonard. Williams passes to Leonard. And that one drops for him. And we've seen Leonard's ball handling improve over the years, especially in the pick and rolls where he has grown to be very effective. Here's Simons. Makes it off the glass. Simons has got 11 points. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Clippers trail by four. Outside Leonard to the paint. Jackson kicks to Williams. Back to Jackson and stolen by Hood. And now Portland on the break. The big dunk at the end of the break. Oh, and look, give Hood credit. Seeing an opportunity to swipe the ball and does just that. Jackson finds Williams. Now, here's Patterson. He's covered by Cantor. Patterson passes to Williams. Back to Patterson. Out to Morris. Three-pointer. Hits the three-point bomb. A terrific use of the catch-and-shoot jumper for Morris. Catching the D flat-footed and torching them as a result. Here's Simons. He's got 13. Shot clock at six. Here's Cantor. And it is good at the buzzer. Wow. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Trailblazers out in front, up five. From Portland, we're back in a moment. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Taking a look at Los Angeles, Marcus Morris is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then it's Williams. And it's Jackson in at the shooting guard position. Here's Trent. Cantor trying to free himself up. Trent gets the bucket. That's how to make things look easy for a teammate. I mean, you make passes like that one from Lillard. Crazy. Jackson passes to Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Lillard with no one around. No good on the three. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him that he's up off the threes. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Coach trusts him that's to free. make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time and time, and time again. Uh, beyond the leaning... You could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, yeah. even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. 
Batum comes in for Morris, and it's Paul George in for Williams. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Terry Stotts talk to his team during that timeout. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. Cantor against George. to tie it up. They get it back. Zubats. And there's the whistle on the shot. And folks, the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Close game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. A challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. And the Clippers call time here. Simons, he's checked in for Portland. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. Six-point game. From deep. From deep three-point range. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Lillard. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. A three-pointer off the mark. Clippers trail by six. George passes to Zubats for three. And the Clippers miss again. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. It seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. The shot by George wide open. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And, guys, George takes pride in hitting big shots. Just get him the ball and let him do his thing. Lillard from outside. Here's Cantor. Kicks it out to Lillard. Let's the three fly. Nailed from three-point land. Lillard's got the lead up to seven now for Portland. The outside shot of Lillard is beautiful. And he always seems to have the look that's going on. And George with the stop. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the duck if you've got it. Yeah, guys, but where was the box out? No excuse letting him roll that freely on glass. And Lillard throws it down. And don't sleep on Lillard's vertical. When he's going strong to the bucket, he's capable of throwing out like this. And stolen by Lillard. And now Lillard pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Up again, and Cantor able to finish. And now it's a nine-point trailblazer lead. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. Uh, who knows what this score would look like if he wasn't on his game tonight. Lillard way outside. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Lillard's got 35. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for Portland. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but, you know, they had to weather a few storms along the wake, and that's all part of the story. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And you can mark this one down in the W column. It'll mark their 23rd of the season. And they're able to even the score 
of this series at a game apiece. Still, two more to go in the season series. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Damian Lillard. Oh, man, anticipation, instincts, energy. All his tools were on display tonight. He lit the place up. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. On deep. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And now running up the court. Leonard pushing it up. But Trey and Paul George with the three. And guys, when George gets cooking, you are in for a long night. He's just fantastic at finding different ways to score. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up.
Staples Center, downtown Los Angeles, and the freeways of L.A. All painting the picture just where we are. And is that... Hey, Kevin, the clip... There's been a transformation here in L.A. There is no doubt about that. D.A., thank you. And now the Lakers' starting group. Aldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Mark Gasol is out there with Markeith Morris. And it's Schroeder in at the point guard. And for the Clippers, Paul George is out there with Reggie Jackson. Then there's Kawhi Leonard... Then there's Batum, and it's Zubat in at the five. Here's Leonard, and then Leonard with the dunk. And then Leonard enjoys jamming it home. Got to keep him as far away from the hoop as possible. 
James looking it over. And finished off by LeBron. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep. The game is just far too easy. Pulls it up. George, no good. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And, and it could have been a lot closer than it was down the stretch, though. They were terrific. Yeah, I thought they did a great job closing the door and keeping it out of reach at the end. Well, something you'll love, Clark. We should see some terrific rebounding here in this one. I love the glass eaters, Kevin. You know, that was part of the strength of my game back in the day. Way, way back in the day. I mean, these teams are right at the top of the league when it comes to closing out stops with the defensive rebound. Glass eaters galore in this one. Alex Caruso, who's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. And that one's good, George. Taking advantage of that length inside, George has the size and touch to score with ease from there. On the wing, James. Stolen by Jackson. Lays it in off the breakaway. Well, so often we see this transition buckets off turnovers. And we know turnovers are painful and costly. You get loose with the ball on one end and get punished on the other end. Here's James and the rejection by Zubats. And now the Clippers on the break. Batum leading the charge. Kicks it out to Leonard. Pass to Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. Here's Caruso, guarded by Jackson. LeBron outside. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And the offense, I mean, three of four, a solid start for this game. James against Leonard. There's Jackson with the three. Morris with the rebound. Lakers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And James with the basket on the assist by Caldwell Pope. LeBron's got his third bucket of the night. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They went to Los Angeles for their last meeting with the Lakers and came out with a victory. And they got the better of this matchup last time with their defensive pressure and the ability to force turnovers. And that really was the difference. I mean, it requires a ton of energy to play that harassing style. It'll be interesting to see if they can do it again tonight. Patterson, that's good. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Caruso, the pass to Horton Tucker. Tries it from 19. Jones, it's good on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. And Patterson kicks to Williams. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Pass to Harrell. Back to Kuzma. To the inside. Harrell, that's good. And improving as a shot maker every year. Harrell has to be accounted for defensively. Bounce pass from Williams. George looking around. Takes the 13-footer. No good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Here's Horton Tucker. And the Lakers tack on two more. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Now here's Williams. He's tightly guarded. Outside for George. Such a wide open look. And that kind of awareness from George is really exceptional. Catching the defense flat-footed by rising up immediately on the catch. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Caruso, the pass to Kuzma. Here's Caruso. 
Kuzma outside. Shot clock at five. All alone. That shot, no good. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. And so the first quarter comes to a close. Both teams scoring well, but it's all tied up. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. Guys, what's your take on the Clippers so far? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter, they've got Jones. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Harrell. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Horton Tucker in at the two spot. Shots good by Kennard. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Schroeder against Williams. Clippers leading by three. Madison passes to Mann. Now here's Patterson. Passes it to Mann. Back to Patterson. And it's Patterson finishing it off. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. The Clippers' shoot has been just outrageous. 64% from the field to this point. Williams finds Patterson. It's intercepted. Now the Lakers on the break. Harold down low. Morris is there. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Let's see some of the numbers here for Paul George. And the Clippers making a switch here. Leonard's checked in. And the Lakers also making a switch. LeBron's checked in for Damian Jones. Schroeder against Williams. This one for three. It's hauled in by LeBron. Lakers trail by three. Earl High Post. Over Williams. And that one, good. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. A miss that time would have put him up. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by one. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and four. Outside Williams. And the pass to Kanon. Leonard against James. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now. And in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me though that kind of separate themselves uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint Steph Curry James Harden and Damian Lillard those three guys can all hit pull ups and step backs from range off the dribble uh, they all got great vision you know so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start start talking about having to guard the three point line. And stolen by James. There's the foul. It's on Patrick Patterson. That is his first foul of the game. So for the Clippers, Zubats is checked in for Patterson. 
Batum comes in for Marcus Morris, and it's Jackson in for Lou Williams. Like the sun rising every day, you can count on LeBron to have his head up scanning the floor and finding the open man. Clippers trail by three. Jackson looking around. And the dunk by Jackson. Uh, the quickness of Reggie Jackson, terrific. Superb at slicing apart the defense with his drives to the rack. And here is LeBron. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Indiana. And it's sent back by Leonard. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Paul George is checked in for the Clippers. And the Lakers also making a switch. Caruso's checked in. Clippers have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. From deep, George. And the three ball is good. George has got seven. With this lead, they're playing confidently, showing a quick trigger from beyond. Yeah, and the perimeter shots, though, not really falling at a good clip here. So I think they may have to back out of that a bit and not settle for those jump shots. Five to shoot. Gene. No good that time. Great D that time from Leonard. And now here's Batum, the fast break. Oh, oh a Throw it down, Kawhi. That was nasty. Love watching him go hard. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play, everybody. Welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. And you think about how Kawhi Leonard is able to dominate from the wing position at both ends. It has been. Thanks for joining. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Batum. Then it's Paul George. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. Jackson with it. Gasol covering. Zubac the pass to Batum. Clippers moving the ball around. George double teamed. It's stolen by Morris. And it's the Lakers on the break. Jumps up. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. KCP is a guy who can pull up from three just as easily as take it to the cup. He's a tough cover in transition. On the wing, but two. Leonard against James. From 11 feet away. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Zubats has got his second basket of the night. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive boards. He did it with great position. And George gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. The Lakers making a switch here. Jones has checked in. Here's LeBron. He's got 10. Six on the shot clock. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. The Clippers in the lead. Jackson with the bounce pass. Batum with the three, and Jones pulls it down, and Zubats picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Morris is checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Harrell, he's checked in for the Lakers. Jackson against Schroeder, over Jackson. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 
Here's Batum. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. And it's good to see George concentrate on getting the ball to the open man. Excellent floor awareness. Schroeder against Jackson. From the wing. And it's Schroeder missing. Clippers leading by four. They get a hand on it. And here we go. Kuzma heading to the hoop. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Mobile and tenacious on the drive. Kuzma. Easy to see how he gets these calls. Greg is a broadcaster. Who have been some of your favorite personalities to cover? Man, that's a great question. Uh, you know, most of the stars, it, you, I, I'm a big fan of, of Duran and Steph and LeBron and those guys. Chris Paul is another one that, that's a favorite. Uh, so many other guys, you know, there's so much more personality and so much more confidence these, these guys have working uh, in front of the camera. I think that just makes for a, a better experience. Somebody asked me the other day, who was my favorite? You know who I said? Who was that? Greg Anthony. Oh, you're just saying that because it's true. <laughs> Five on the clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Kuzma's got four points in the quarter. Taking on everybody, all comers. Kuzma's very aggressive, and he's used to getting hit on the way up. Plays well through contact. And Patterson kicks to Jackson. Takes a three. Krills the three-pointer. Jackson's got his third basket of the night. And that's just too much space to give a shooter like him. He works to get open, but the defenders have to work harder to nullify that. Caruso, no good. And, guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Now the feed to Hero. It's hauled in by George. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Williams with a clean look. Off target with the open look. Lakers trail by three. Here's Kuzma. Caldwell Pope trying to break free. Kuzma kicks to Caldwell Pope. Tries yet again. Over to the wing. Kuzma outside. Here's Horton Tucker. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And, and you can tolerate gaffes like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. And some changes here for the Lakers. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Montrez Hero. Morris comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And James subbed in for Caldwell Pope. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Lakers shooting an ugly 27% since halftime. Caruso, the pass to Gasol. Here's Horton Tucker. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Outside, George. Williams for three. Patterson, that's good. Patterson's got the lead up to five now for the Clippers. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Clippers lead by five. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Clippers leading by five, and on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Marky Morris is out there with LeBron James, and it's Mark Gasol. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Caruso in at the shooting guard position. Got a hand on it. 
a capable defensive player. That wingspan of Batum, really an asset in blocking shots. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. LeBron James on the wing. Knocks it loose. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Throws down the breakaway jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And the Clippers making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Amongst the many things that I appreciate most about LeBron James, and there are a lot, is leadership. I mean, everybody else just kind of naturally falls into place behind him because he's such a good example and a positive leader. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Here's James. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number five here tonight. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. How about pointless <laughs> to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Caldwell Pope checked in. Pass to Zubats. Rejected by Gasol. You really got to admire the reach of Gasol. He's excellent at utilizing those long arms of his to turn away shots. Clippers leading by nine. The three from George. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Now LeBron. Morris finds Schroeder. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. James, the pass to Gasol. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Not sure what he was thinking about with that pass. Just sailed it right out of bounds. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Mark Gasol. Schroeder against Jackson. Here's George. The Lakers with the rebound. Harrell's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's James. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. 14 points for LeBron. So special and exciting to watch greatness. LeBron James tonight playing at the highest level. Zubox the pass to Jackson. Back to Zubox. It's George on the wing. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. George has got the lead up to 12 now for the Clippers. LeBron dishes to Schroeder. Back to LeBron. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. Harrell. Great D that time from Leonard. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Jackson. Nice move. Here's Zubats outside for Jackson. Outside, Batum gets the three-pointer to fall. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Flippers. If they had to battle for this win, there were times when it looked like it was maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. And, and that's a product of their mental toughness. Anytime the floor of the game turned against them, instead of caving, they just dialed it up a notch and were able to pull away. And so all the hard work here tonight converted into a tally in the win column. It'll be number 26 on the year. And you know, guys, what a nice performance it was for George. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play going to the line for one. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure effort and hustle. 
It's LeBron with the drive. And LeBron is a force rolling to the rim. When he's diving inside, he's looking for the punch. Jackson kicks to Leonard. Launches a three. The Clippers keep it alive. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. LeBron with it. And it's sent back by Leonard. And a sensational individual defender. Leonard will lock you down. Rejections are just part of the package he brings on the defensive end. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks. For our broadcast.
Thanks for joining us on two and taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for him.
And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And now the Lakers starting group. They've got Marc Gasol. LeBron James is out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope. Then there's Marquise Morris. And it's Caruso in at the small forward position. And for the Trailblazers, they've got Derek Jones. Ennis Cantor is out there with Robert Covington. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Trent in at the shooting guard position. And there is a whistle. That'll go on Derek Jones. That is his first foul of the game. Goes up off the inbound. And finished off by LeBron. Just another part of what makes Gasol so special. The vision to locate the open man. Strange to see Marc Gasol shooting from outside. His game great wasn't always like it is now. I mean, he's, Gasol has added a three to his game in the last seasons with Memphis, and, and it was an immediate success. He became a functioning stretch five. Early in his career, he was more likely to drag you to the block and just bruise you more than anything else. They're at their best when LeBron pushes. His aggressiveness raises the level of this team. Lillard, the pass to Covington. Up again, and Cantor able to finish. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Lakers have gone two for four from the field so far today. James against Covington. Gasol kicks to LeBron. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. And midway through the season, some players going above and beyond. And Steve, is that contract year boost a myth, or is it a real thing? Hey, Kevin, it is a real thing. You see guys more focused. You see guys that's usually not on time, on time. On that contract year, you see guys on their best behavior, and you see some of their best play on the court overall. Lakers have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. James looking around. With the second effort, outside for Caldwell Pope. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Beautiful pass. LeBron, fun to watch. Intelligent, outstanding read. Lillard up top. 38 points for him last game against Minnesota. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. To the middle, here's Caruso. Gasol finds James. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Reverses, and James with the layup. LeBron's got nine points. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. And it's Lillard again missing. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Here's LeBron. That one falls. He's got 11. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Lillard, and the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. And he can score from all over the court, but, but Lillard at his best from mid-range. He deserves extra special attention from the defense in that in-between area, but sometimes, even then, that's not enough. And there's the whistle, three-second violation. And a moment now to see the numbers for Morris. He's had an impressive second half of the season first in free throw percentage and ranking among the top five league-wide in three-point percentage you have to consider him among the elite shooters in the nba and it's nice when you have the nba's best free throw shooter just keep the ball in his hands in clutch situations he's been completely automatic this season here's schroeder following the score by damian lillard using his height and length there to prevent the second chance opportunity simons and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, quick thinking, wins Dame assists. Finds the open man, and the ball instantly there 
for the finish. Damian Jones is jacked in for Los Angeles. Lakers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. Schroeder against Lillard. Pass to Jones. Schroeder outside. And again, no good by the Lakers. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for the trailblazers. They trail by one. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo -wee. That one goes. Count it. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Schroeder against Lillard. And Jones pulls it down. Harold down low. He's against Cantor. Harrell, the pass to Schroeder. That one good for two. When you combine his quickness and his ball handling, Dennis is very elusive. That's a two from Lillard, and the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. And before the game, we talked to Damian Lillard. You know, Greg, he is... I don't fear nobody. And, and if Lillard's proved anything to us, Greg, in his career, you know he loves a challenge. <laughs> One of the premier big shot makers in this game. I don't know if there's anyone you'd rather give the ball to in crunch time. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. And that has helped them build an advantage here, playing with good focus and good energy. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court for the Trailblazers, they've got Anthony. He's out there with Rodney Hood. Damian Lillard out there with Ennis Cantor. And it's Simons in at the two. And Schroeder entrusted to run this offense, making the right call. Looking at Portland, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Timberwolves in Minnesota. Three-pointer, Lillard, the offensive rebound. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Now, here's Schroeder. 11 points for him in that last game against Indiana. And he wrecked havoc on defense with four steals for the game. Good work there as it goes. Great concentration to knock that down with the defender closing out. Dennis has no conscience. Lillard on top. He's guarded by Schroeder. Out to Anthony. Lillard scanning the floor. Good work defensively by Jones. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. Greg, I know you've played for some great coaches in your day. What is it that separates the truly elite coaches, in your opinion, from just coaches that are pretty good? I think the one attribute that's most important for a great coach is consistency. And, and I've said this, you can, you can coach a lot of different ways, you can win a lot of different ways, but you've got to be sincere and true to your principles and, and your philosophy. And those are the coaches, and I've had them that have done it different ways, but they've been the most successful. And listen, you've also, at the professional level, You've got to have a presence about you. You've got to have some charisma out there as well to get these men to buy in. Now here's LeBron. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Indiana. And he showed again why he is such a sensational playmaker. Some of the plays he made were just remarkable. Trailblazers trail by five. Here's Simons. He's got seven. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. And it's the Lakers on the break. James wide open. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. 
The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, and, and their last time playing against this club, they fell short. A lot of cheap fouls really plagued their starting unit. Hopefully they exercise better caution in this game and avoid cheap fouls that could get them in trouble again. On the wing, James, defended by Covington. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Now a timeout called by Portland, coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, you know they wanted a few of those plays back. What a tough way to go out in that one. Yeah, they came in with a purpose, gave everything they had. It just wasn't quite enough. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's James. Oh, wow! Add that one to LeBron's highlight reel. How about the creativity in midair? Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for the Portland Trailblazers. Seven-point differential. And the call, and it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the officials. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. One forty-nine left now here in the second. Here's Simons. Seven points in the game. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. LeBron drives in. The indestructible one. LeBron brushing off contact for the easy deuce. Trailblazers trail by nine. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. And yes, it's good. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. LeBron left side. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Jones finds Covington. Back to Jones. There's 48 seconds left here in the second. The shot missing. Pass to LeBron. Caldwell Pope for three. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Yeah, defenses beware. You have to close out hard on KCP and, and disrupt his rhythm. Here's Simon. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And really the defense fouling there to, to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. So both teams making some changes here. And so he hits both. 
Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. He had a nice open look right there. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? The clubs answering each other from range. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Nobody near Lillard. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Jones. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 17 points. And... And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Marquise Morris. And it's Mark Gasol. And it's Caruso in at the three spot. Now here's Lillard down low. Lock at six. With the tip. And Cantor able to finish. Cantor's got eight points. And usually amongst the leaders in their offensive rebound rate, Cantor gives your team found points off misses. Here's Caruso. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And Gasol able to finish. And the Lakers lead by 10. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Lillard, the teardrop falls in. 11 points in the game. You know, Greg, when you were in New York, you were on a super team of sorts. Compare that to the super teams they're forming now in the NBA. Oh, we've always had super teams. And this misnomer that this is something that's just come about with this year is, to me, absurd. You've always had it. Whether The difference nowadays is I think the players have more say in where they go. Uh, and they can orchestrate how a team is constructed. But it's always existed. And the reality is this. You become a super team when you win a lot. Sure. And, and that's what really dictates how super your team is. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's LeBron. That shot is off. And it's Portland the other way. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. Lillard attacking. Right block shot. And it's out of bounds as the Portland Trailblazers retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. Rodney Hood subbed in for Jones. Now here's Jones after the miss from Damian Lillard. Here's Trent. Flushes it down to finish the break. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Now here's Schroeder. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Here's Schroeder. Seven-point differential. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Cantor dishes to Lillard. Hood kicks to Lillard. Shoots over Schroeder, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Lillard's got 13. Lakers leading by five. 
out to the right wing. Here's Caruso. And again, no good by the Lakers. Trailblazers have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They've shown a lot of heart, a lot of fight, and they're close to taking the lead. And the Lakers have possession. Portland making their last shot. Lakers working the ball around now. And again, the Lakers no good. The Trailblazers have gone 6 and 9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Lillard outside. He nails it, and we're tied up. Lillard's got seven now in this quarter. Boy, you can see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. Yeah, the reason is they tied it up, but it took a lot of focus and a lot of energy. We'll see if they can sustain this effort. For the lead, Horton Tucker with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. And that one's good. Schroeder. And with that three-pointer, how about ending that 11-0 run by Portland? Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Lillard way outside. And it's Lillard again missing. Los Angeles leading by three. Nobody near Schroeder. Off target from outside. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Anthony controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. Lakers lead. Terry Stotts had some advice for his team. Let's see what he had to say. We're getting stops after that start. We've, been... We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Robert Covington out there with Derek Jones. Then it's Rodney Hood. Then it's Ennis Cantor. And it's Simons in at the point. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Back to James. Six to shoot. The wide open look here for Kuzma. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got five assists tonight. Helping this offense spread the floor. Kyle's a solid shooter from distance. Simons surveying the D. To the wing right side. There's the three. Kuzma pulls it in. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. How do you stop that? LeBron with too much lift and too much power. Here's Simons. Here's Cantor. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. LeBron passes to Caldwell Pope. From outside, off the mark. Trailblazers trail by six. Hood dishes to Jones. And stolen by Kuzma. James outside. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. And that one is good. Crazy to think about how many seasons LeBron's played and how many nights we've seen him do this. Simons, the pass to Jones. To stop the run, Cantor trying to free himself up. And Cantor able to finish. And look at it. A significant portion of their offense coming on those second chance opportunities. LeBron outside. And there's the pass to Caldwell Pope. James against Jones. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at six. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. The Lakers rebound. Here's Kuzma. And the three off target. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot. Wrong result. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. 
James with the bucket. James has got 25 points. Yeah, off contact, I'll take LeBron pretty much every time. Can't beat that kind of strength and body control. Now a timeout called by Portland. You look at James, what a contribution. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, LeBron James. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Terry Stotts went over with his team. He is upset about the perimeter play. He told the guys on the defensive end, stay connected to the shooters. On the offensive end, if you don't have an open shot, pass it around. Let's see if the ball starts to unstick, Kevin. Six on the shot clock. The kick out to LeBron. There's Harrell. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. That's just being out of sync, and at the worst time, costly. Trailblazers trail by three. Lillard outside. Over LeBron. And it's Lillard missing. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Los Angeles has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. LeBron up top. Three-pointer. And Cantor pulls it down. For Portland, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That is his first foul of the game. Alert against LeBron. Pass to Covington. Jones dishes to Cantor. James against Lillard. And it goes down two points. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. James outside. To the right side. Schroeder kicks to LeBron. The defender is left helpless to stop that. LeBron with too many tools in the toolbox and that killer instinct. Now here's Lillard to tie it up. Misses the tray. And now we've got the intentional foul. He had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. That's the first and that gives them a four point cushion. You know, I can't remember any scouts predicting that Harrell would become this kind of offensive force. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. Lillard from deep three point land can't connect from long distance. And so the Lakers take the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.
TV. I'm Chris Manning and I'm joining all of you from our 2K Virtual HQ. And I'm Alexis Morgan joining you from Atlanta where I've been checking out All-Star events and I'm just wrapping up All-Star Weekend. It has been an absolutely Up next, the
Hi, and welcome, everyone, here on 2K Sports. Hey, Dave. Good evening, Kevin. What a story. David, thank you. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. They've got Derek Jones. Robert Covington out there with Ennis Cancer. Then it's Damian Lillard, and it's Trent in at the two-guard spot. And for Los Angeles, they've got Paul George. Batuma's out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Ivica Zubac, and it's Jackson in at the one spot. A shot by Batum, no good. And Zubac picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Emphasizing the importance of a deep bench. A few teams, Doris, across the league are riddled with injuries right now. And this is where your front office has to find a way to be successful year after year. And players over the course of a season maybe won't play for five, six, seven, eight games. And then an injury opens an opportunity. And you have to have a high level of professionalism at the end of the bench to endure these moments. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for the Trailblazers. We know this about Robert Covington. He is a team man first and foremost. Pretty pass. So for the Trailblazers, their last game, a loss to the Timberwolves. Jackson kicks to George. There's the steal. And oh, here we go. Lillard's got it. The fast break chance. And Damian Lillard with the jam. And that was not an opportunity Lillard was going to let pass by. Uh, getting down the floor in an instant and finishing on the break. Here's Leonard. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Batum with the ball. Jones covering. Clippers moving the ball around. George passes to Zubats. Back to George. Shoots over Covington. George with the bucket. Well, I like to see Paul George be assertive down low. This guy doesn't lack for confidence, and he is an accomplished scorer regardless of where he is on the floor. When the story of Kawhi Leonard is told, it will be about the hard work being the secret of his success. Here was a guy who was not the most vaunted prospect in either high school or college. But boy, he kept his eyes on what he was after, and he kept working. Here's Leonard after the Trailblazers pick up two. Fader on the way. Now here is George. He's covered closely. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Jones, the pass to Lillard. And Damian Lillard with the jam. Almost unstoppable on the drive. Lillard's talent for ball handling, letting him just cut through the defense. And Doris, you were talking about Leonard's work ethic. Going back to San Diego State, he used to come in at 6.30 in the morning. No lights on in the gym, so he brought his own lamps. I mean, the guy was dedicated. No doubt, Kevin, and that has been the through line of his career. First to practice, last to leave. He has that hunger to improve, the drive and the desire to put in the time to be great. There's a price to be paid, and he's willing to pay it. The putback, it's good on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second-chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Jones, the pass to Trent. Over in the corner, Lillard. Outside, Covington. And play stops as it looks like they call him over the back here. Yeah, he must have thought he was a jungle gym the way he was climbing all over his back. Easy call. Really good job to block out there. This is why you want to go put a body on someone when the shot goes up. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Patterson, he's checked in for Zubox. Lou Williams is subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Now, here's George. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Here's Cantor. Three-pointer Lillard. No good that time. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Last time these two teams came together was also in this building. They were able to win it for the home fans. 
And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. Here's George following the score by Damian Lillard. And George kicks to Williams. Now the pass to Patterson. Shot clock at three. The shot by Williams, no good. The Trailblazers have gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Lillard left side over Williams, and that one goes long. Boy, a miss like that will drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And for Portland guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. Man, why wouldn't they? You see their effectiveness in the open floor. Very difficult to slow down. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Clippers. We've got Williams. Patrick Patterson is out there with Morris. Then it's Luke Kennard. And it's man in at the small forward. Well, Rodney Hood has outstanding defensive instincts and effective at mucking things up and coming away with some thefts. To the left side wing. Back to Kennard. Inside, Patterson. It doesn't go for him. Good D by Covington. And there's Lillard. That's good on the assist from Covington. Lillard's got the lead up to six now for the Trailblazers. Pass to Morris. Gennard up top. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Connects from three-point range. And you can see he just caught a glimpse of the open man on the perimeter and immediately got him the basketball. Pass to Anthony. Williams against Lillard. Now here's Patterson. No points in the game yet for him. To the inside. Great D that time from Hood. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Lillard, the pass to Hood. From past the arc. Lillard again missing. Clippers trail by three. To the paint. Here's Morris. And Morris throws it down. Mr. Morris leaves no doubt. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for the Trailblazers. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, I mean, every time out, it's a learning experience to some degree. But that's not what they were looking for. Yeah, I mean, listen, it hurts a little more when you play well and fail to close out a game. That was one they should have won. Taken away by Anthony. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. A, a guy who spaces the floor but also willing to attack the rim. Lillard has confounded the defense all night. Now here's Williams. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. A three from Morris. Patterson down low. Defended by Covington. The Clippers again turning it over. Greg, who are your favorite players to watch in the NBA? Oof, boy, that, that's a tough one. You, you know, you, you got to like the guys that have, have changed the game in some regards, right? Steph, KD, and Giannis. Uh, those are three guys that are just doing things that don't seem normal. True. Uh, then others who remind you uh, of past greatness, you know, Jason Tatum with Kobe or maybe an Anthony Davis with the King. And 
Those are guys that I love. And, and then I, the other guy, listen, LeBron James. I, I can watch him play basketball every day. You, you know, to do what he's done at this stage of his career, I, I just think it's incredible. And I think our game is in great shape. Three on all counts. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Jackson. Here's Simons. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. And he uses the glass on the layup. Simons has got his second bucket of the night. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Kennard finds Jackson. Here's Zubats. Covington with the steal. And now the fast break. Anthony with the ball. Trent passes to Covington. Portland moving the ball around. Here's Trent. Kennard covering. Misses off the right iron. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Last break. Here come the Trailblazers. Up the floor. Finished off the break. Simons has got six. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. The feed to Morris. Outside for Jackson. Now, here's Kennard. Not a lot of room. To the middle. Lays it up off the glass. Kennard's got five points now this quarter. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get... And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Damian Lillard has been having a big night. He had 12 points and one assist. And... And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Here's who Terry Stotts is starting the second half with. Robert Covington out there with Ennis Cantor. Then it's Damian Lillard. Then it's Jones. And it's Trent in at the two. And Lillard is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. And here is Los Angeles now. Seven-point differential. Zubox kicks to George. Fires the three. Over in the corner, Batum. Rocket six. And there's Paul George on the assist by Batum. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. The three buries the long-range jumper. Lillard's got the lead up to 11 now for the Trailblazers. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Passes it to Zubats. Back to George. Over Trent. George missing again. Trailblazers leading by 11. Over in the corner, Lillard. Over George. Lillard misses. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. Jackson in the corner. Back to George. Lillard with the rebound. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. George finds Leonard. Those three pointers off the mark. He is single handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Jones, no luck. 
Clippers trail by 11. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. And then Jones with the jam. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Now here's Jackson to end the run. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got rebound number five here tonight. Jones, the pass to Trent. Kicks it out to Lillard. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. George with the ball. Jones covering. Outside for Batum. And again, it's the Clippers missing. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Leonard and the layup falls. Leonard's got his second bucket of the game to go. <laughs> oh, good luck stopping that. Kawhi Leonard, huge, strong hands in total command of the basketball. Go ahead. Now, here's Lillard. 23 points in the game. The pass to Trent. Down to five on the shot clock. Leonard with the steal. Right side, Jackson. Batum dishes to George. From beyond the arc, and then some. George has got five points in the quarter. Oh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. Lillard, the pass to Trent. 46 seconds left to play in the third. Six to shoot. Lillard against Batum. Here's Cantor. And another shot. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, there's simply no denying the strength of Ennis Cantor. Even when you get physical with him, this guy is capable of playing through it. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Patterson, he's checked in for Zubox. Marcus Morris comes in for Nicholas Batum. And it's Williams in for Jackson. And George kicks to Williams. Lays it up and banks it in. Williams has got his first bucket of the night. A small frame, but big game. Lou Williams in the paint. Simons surveying the D. There's the triple. Jones misses the shot. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Trailblazers lead. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Morris is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Paul George. Then it's Williams. And it's Patterson in at the five down low. That's who's out there for the Clippers. The shot off that time. And George, here we go. And the layup's good off the glass. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Here's Simons. Misses the layup. Clippers trail by 10. And here we go. A nice shot by George. This is one of Paul George's go-to shots. His confidence and ability to rise and fire quickly from the mid-range, crucial. Here's Simon. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Trailblazers lead by 10. The Clippers have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Hood against George. George double teamed. 
Patterson, that's good. Patterson's got his first basket. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Here's Simons. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Leonard's got his fourth rebound in this one. And Portland making a change here. Lillard's checked in. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Patterson finds George. Again, Los Angeles. I'll tell you, tough first half puts it in the rear view. The shooting percentage starting to reflect that. Miller against Williams. Shoots from the high post, and that one swishes right in. Lillard's got 13 points in the second half. The natural offensive talent of Lillard gives him incredible flexibility, and boy, he can strike at any time. Back to Williams, stolen by Cantor. Outside, Jones. And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And there's the call on Lou Williams. That's his first foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. Zubats is checked in for Patterson. Batum comes in for Marcus Morris. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Lou Williams. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Lillard scanning the floor. Six on the shot clock. Launches it. Knocks down the three ball. Lillard's got five points in the quarter. Reggie, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I play, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you can go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more, uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And if you still look at the, the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. An extraordinary improvement over the course of his career by Kawhi Leonard. He has now turned himself into one of the game's best, if not the best, two-way player. Lillard outside. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Clippers trail by eight. Outside, George. It's up a three. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. You can see Paul George is locked in right now. Big time shots demonstrate his elite level in the NBA. Here's Lillard and Damian Lillard with the jam. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right. GA seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. And Portland has possession. At one point, they led by 16. Pass to Trent. Lillard outside. Here's the three. The shot, no good. And the Clippers will come the other way. the first one and that trims the lead to six to think that at one point after that horrific leg injury Paul George there was some doubt whether he could regain the level of play we're accustomed to but this guy gets better and better Lillard outside 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter
first free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Wearing the number zero for a reason. Damian Lillard has it on his back for his city, Oakland. Just the latest star from the town. The three from George. They get the rebound. Three-pointer. So the Trailblazers win it. A true All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg.
there it is. Now we get a chance to check out some stats for Paul George. And, and guys, he's regressed a little bit offensively. He hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier in the season. He's lacking the edge that he had, and he needs to change his mindset. Stop sitting back and get into attack mode. Here are the five for the Clippers. They've got Paul George. Ivica Zubac is out there with Batum. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Jackson in at the shooting guard position. And for the Lakers, Marcus Saul is out there with Markeith Morris. Then it's LeBron James. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Caruso in at the three side. Yeah, you gotta love watching James Scott for the slam. I mean, demonstrating how high he can get up off the drive. To the inside, Zubac. Outside Jackson. Five to shoot. They get it back. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? And James throws it down. If you're the defense, what can you do? James is too strong, too focused on these finishes. Jackson passes to Zubac. From deep, George. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers working the ball around now. From 12 feet out, here's Gasol outside for Caldwell Pope. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. A nice start for them offensively. Three of four to kick things off. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. George passes to Zubac. Batum wide open. He fires. Buries it from three-point range. And it's pretty clear that Adam Silver would like to implement, Chris, a mid-season tournament. What do you think would motivate teams for something like that? Uh, man, it depends. Could make it be money, or it could make the games count extra, or, or different seeding or position of seeding in the playoffs. These days, I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. Count it. Well, when Batum spots a wide open teammate, he zips the rock to him quickly. Just exceptional vision. LeBron outside. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And George kicks to Batum. Nobody near Leonard. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. The Lakers in the lead. LeBron outside. And the tuck by LeBron. That's just crazy athleticism from James. His vertical is through the roof. Back to George. It's LeBron with the drive and finished off by LeBron. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stop. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Yeah, you see the athleticism George had on that dunk. It's so quick and explosive. Gets to the rim in an instant. Feeds it to Caldwell Pope. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Zubac. And with this chance, we can show you the real stats, the real scores from the real NBA. Those are the season's top shot blocking teams. The Lakers second. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots. And that continues to be the goal. And there it is for him. And Jackson is very good at catching the D off guard, especially inside where he needs to be fast to getting that shot off. LeBron up top. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Indiana. Yeah, and don't forget about his passing. I mean, he didn't forget about his teammates. He was spreading the ball all over the floor. And some room here for Batum, a rebound by the Lakers. Oh, the defense with no impact at all. Just didn't have the feel for his jump shot. James kicks to Caldwell Pope. This one for three. LeBron, no good. Clippers trail by four.
Leonard with the bucket. Talk about someone who knows all the angles. Kawhi on the interior. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. LeBron outside. Twenty seconds left to play here in the first. Outside for Caldwell Pope. From 11 feet away, James misses. Here's Leonard. Here's Batum. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Batum's got five points so far. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points right back after this break. Welcome back, everyone. It's Noche Latina in the NBA as we resume action. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Well, it's part of their strategy coming in, no doubt. And, and there may not be that much their opponent can do about it. We've got Montrez Harrell. He's out there with Kyle Kuzma. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Jones. And it's Horton Tucker in at the two guard. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Down low, here's Morris. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Montrez here. While the shooting of Morris provides his team with this crucial, just a real valuable part of this team. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Uh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Schroeder against Williams. Schroeder passes to Horton Tucker. Here's Mann. He averages about uh, five points a game. And the wide-open shot from Morris. Rebound by Harrell. The Lakers trail. Here's Horton Tucker. Schroeder passes to Harrell. Picks it out to Schroeder. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. Uh, the dogged intensity Harrell has is just insane. And, and he uses all this energy to his advantage, particularly on the glass. Right wing. Pass to Patterson, the 10 footer. Here's Mann, the kick out to Williams. A three from Morris. And again, no good by the Clippers. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. Uh, and, and when the bench steps up, it takes pressure off the starters. And they stepped up big in that game. Clippers have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Williams passes to Patterson. Inside. Here's Mann. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Here's Schroeder. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. The Clippers trail. On the wing, Williams. He's guarded by Schroeder. Williams passes to Patterson. The shake to the wing on the left. Here's Mann. That one doesn't drop. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Lakers have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. To the paint. Here's Harrell. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. They are just killing them on the interior. Morris is checked in for the Lakers. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for Kyle Kuzma. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Passes it to Jackson. Now Morris. Missed inside. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. 
Alex Caruso. He's checked in for the Lakers. James comes in for Dennis Schroeder. And the Clippers with a change here, too. But Toombs checked in. James fires from way outside. And again, the Lakers no good. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Count it, and the Laker lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Paul George. LeBron outside. 125 left in the second quarter. The pass to Caruso. Shot clock at six. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Caldwell Pope's got six points. And Caldwell Pope can be a volume three-point shooter, meaning when he gets a lot of attempts from there, he can fill it up from downtown. Pass to Batum. Clippers moving the ball around. George against Caldwell Pope. George with the bucket. And this is why you get George the ball there. He's solid at figuring out how to capitalize. James dishes to Morris. LeBron against George. LeBron drives in, and it's sent back by George. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. The Lakers making a switch here. Gasol's checked in. There's 37 seconds left in the first half. Off the inbound, no good. The shot by George, wide open. That misses, had a chance to tie it there. Lakers leading by three. Paul George with the steal. And here we go, George heading to the hoop. And George with the stuff. A, a perennial all-defensive pick. George's quick hands create a lot of transition opportunities. James looking around. Jacks up a three. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And that'll... Hey, Kevin, thank you. Kawhi, a big first half for you all offensively, but big first half for them, too. Any concern there? Uh, thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of it. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, good to see LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He had 12 points, three rebounds, and... We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You look at James, what a contribution. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter, sliced right through them. He did a great job of attacking the seams, getting to the rim, and then finishing strong. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, Kawhi Leonard is out there with Batum. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Ivica Zubox. And it's George in at the one. LeBron James on the wing. Defended by George. James finds Caldwell Pope. Looking for George. He gets it there. And here comes Jackson leading the fast break. Batum passes to Jackson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Looking at current NBA players, Greg, leaving aside the real star players, who would you love to have played with from this era? Man, there are so many guys that, you know, and I hate to call them role players because they bring so much more to the table. But in reality, they got to fill some roles, right? And, you know, John Collins is a guy who's got great potential, a, a tremendous finisher around the, the rim. How about Robert Covington, a smooth shooter who, who defends his tail off? Davis Bertans, a, a deadly floor spacer who, who can put the ball down and, and create and make plays. So there's so many guys like that in the league that make a difference in determining whether your team can win or lose. Boy, those are three names I don't know that I would have mentioned, so I'm glad you did. Uh, the catch and shoot Jay is lethal when used correctly. Easy to see why Jackson likes it so much. 
Williams against James. Over Williams. Gasol. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. The Clippers in the lead. Jackson passes to Patterson. Gasol with the steal. James with it. Leonard picks him up. And stolen by Patterson. Outside for Jackson. The three. Offensive rebound. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Lakers have gone two or four here to start the second half. LeBron outside. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And stolen by Patterson. Leonard, the pass to Batum. On the wing, Jackson. Patterson, that's good. And it's a five-point Clipper lead. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's James. Bucket is good. LeBron's got 16. And the way James dominates on the offensive end, making it look effortless tonight. Leonard attacking. The shot comes out. The Lakers have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Yep, it goes, and the Clipper lead is cut to just one in the basket from LeBron. Oh, he's got a role in this quarter, taking it on himself to guide their offense. Right side, Jackson. To the inside. And the rejection by James. Well, James is just a sensational shot blocker. You better check your rear view mirror. He's relentless. For the lead. Again, James missing. Clippers have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. And Leonard has it in the corner. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. But two dishes to Patterson from 13. He can't get that one. Oh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. James kicks to Caldwell Pope. Back to James. And looks like the illegal that's kick great. was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Last thing they want to be doing right now is giving away possession. I mean, turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. And it's Patterson finishing it off. And don't sleep on Williams' ability to create for others. That's a veteran play. To the middle, and stolen by Patterson. And here we go with Morris, running it up the court. Well, that's why they're in front. Aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Lakers trail by five. Schroeder outside. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Schroeder's got six. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Got a piece of it. And it's the Lakers on the break. Harold down low. Covered by Morris. Nobody near Schroeder. Offensive rebound. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Clippers ahead. They're up by three. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Harrell is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then it's Jones. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Horton Tucker in at the two spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Out to the right wing. Pass to Kennard. Morris dishes to George. Lock at six. No good from outside. 
and I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Harrell, that's good. And guys, not much more a defender can do in that situation. Harrell with the focus and the strength to just power through the contact. George passes to Zubats, and he comes up with the deuce. And the Clippers lead by three. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. And it's Paul George with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Reggie Jackson's checked in for Luke Kanaan. Here's James outside for Caldwell Pope. Over to the left wing. Passes it to Morris. LeBron against Zubac. Paul George with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. Steps back and fires. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Right side Jackson. Man passes to Zubac. On the wing Jackson. Lets it go from the baseline and nails it. And you can see that Jackson has put a lot of work in on his mid-range, Jay. Definitely a legitimate threat from him. Caldwell Pope up top. Gasol kicks to James. The pass to Caruso. Outside for Caldwell Pope. For the three. The shot, no good. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Here's the break. Morris passes to Zubats. Rejected by Gasol. Wow. Trying to challenge Gasol. Big time two-way player. He gets it done on both teams. For three, Caldwell Pope. And again, no good by the Lakers. Clippers leading by five. Has to man. Jackson kicks to George. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Outside for Jackson. There's the three, and it's George missing. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Lakers working the ball around now. LeBron outside. They could use a bucket. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That one on George. Love the attitude of James. When it's an important moment, he demands the rock and delivers. Here's George. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. George missing again. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Oh, awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. James, no good. And it's Batum with the ball. Bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. George with the ball. Leonard attacking the rebound by the Lakers. Gasol's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. LeBron outside. He kicks to Caldwell Pope. Six on the shot clock to tie it up. And LeBron with a nice bucket inside. James has got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Leonard finds Jackson. Now here's Batum. To Zubats. And contact. And here we go. A coach's challenge has been initiated. We have to now review the personal foul in question. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. And getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed. And the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replay, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands. 
as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, during that last time out and listening to Frank Vogel talk to his team, he really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Back to you guys. Connects from downtown. He wants the ball. They want him to have the ball. And as usual, he comes through in the clutch. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Gasol. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hand. They know they can count on him to make crucial shots. George dishes to Jackson. Outside, Batum. George passes to Jackson. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. Oh, and Jackson is not just a terrific shooter, but a fantastic defender as well, using his great speed on both ends. Comes through big. Now they can put everything they have into guard against the team. So it's the Clippers taking the win in a close one. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks.